Welcome back. So let's start actually implementing one of our interfaces and let's see how that is done. So step one is I'm going to make a folder here and I'm going to add a new folder here. We haven't done that before and I'm calling this folder for services. Now I want to start adding these uh, folders because I want you to get different namespaces. So the namespace for the for the entire packages is customer app BLL. But now I want to start having namespaces like service like this so I can go down one level. And if you add a service folder like this, you'll get a normal, normally when you add a new class in here, it'll automatically build um, the namespace of the name of the package dot and then the folder name. So let me just try and show you what I mean. Because I want a new, I want to add a new class here. Notice this is a class, not an interface now. And that's going to be called customer service. Customer service like this. So this is the service that I want to actually use um, to start working with my customers. And notice because I put it inside the services folder, it's called now the namespace customer app BLL dot services and it's an internal class. So that pretty much means everywhere I want to use this now I'm going to use this namespace just like here where they're using system, collections, generic. It means there's a collections folder, a generics folder just to let you guys know where that is actually coming from. So now we have the customer service. The next thing I need to do is I need to actually put in the um, the colon like this and then I need to put in the name of the interface I want to implement. So this is how you actually explain to a class that you're going to uphold the contract of iCustomer service, right? So I explain to the class now you're going to implement all of these functions right here because I want you to work as a customer service. I want you to have the functionality of an actual customer service. That will make sense as we make more of these. So what I want to do now is I want to, you notice there's a red squiggly line. If you right click this or click on the lamp, control plus or control, sorry, plus a dot, you'll get this and it'll ask, do you want to implement the interface? And I'll say yes. And notice I get all the different functions, but this time they're actually curly brackets now. And these functions are of course all of these guys, the create, get all, get, update, delete, but they are now shown as actual methods and each of them would automatically have the throw not implemented exception. They will all be public and they will all be here, right? So the one I set up now is now uh, moved directly into this guy. I just need to now implement each of them. Okay, so now I need to figure out how to do that. And we're going to do that in the next couple of lessons. Now we've actually taken an interface, used the interface contract to create a class. And yes, right now, we have a lot of not implemented exceptions, so let's just start putting those in there one by one so that our application will actually start working. So see you next time where we'll start actually implementing these guys. Uh, have fun.